What's up everybody? I'm Seth at Year One Organics. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to share with you guys my Thai Dwarf Mulberry. Um, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll be sharing one more variety that's really cool to me. So, this is a uh, not even one year old cutting. And this isn't even its first time fruiting. It's actually its second time fruiting and I didn't even prune it. I got it in a three gallon pot and I got a little Suriname cherry growing in there right now. Um, this variety Thai Dwarf is also known for fruiting so much at a time that its limbs will get so heavy and they'll actually break off of there. And another really cool thing about this mulberry is that uh, after it fruits, you can prune it and it'll instantly fruit again. It'll make new growth for you after you prune it and it'll shoot out some new flowers. You can see this one right here. This one's actually really tiny. It's the tiniest one I've ever seen, but they get pretty decent size. These one runs right here are pretty much average. Now this mulberry variety for me has been fairly drought tolerant and fairly flood resistant. Um, these trees propagate very easily from cutting. So as you can see, there's probably like a six inch cutting inserted there and then it just shot out right here and we have all this new growth and not even one year. I have about a 95% success rate whenever I propagate these things from cutting they almost all take overall this mulberry is a must-have for your food forest or your garden and this tree is also another one that you can grow in a pot for a couple years you can keep pruning it back and it can fruit for you four or five six times a year and you can keep it in a pot if you guys are interested in this variety of mulberry Thai dwarf I have some cuttings available on my shop. They're already rooted. Go check them out if you're interested. I also have this other mulberry variety I'm about to show you on there too. Now this mulberry is called a contorted mulberry and it also has a black fruit too, but it is a little bit bigger than this other variety of Thai dwarf. But as you can see, the branches are contorted. It looks really, really nice would make like a good dooryard tree or just a cool tree to collect if you like mulberries. But this one propagated very easily from cutting too. And I have a couple of these available on my shop too. Be sure to check them out. So as you can see, this mulberry right here is fully black. Uh, it could probably sit on the tree for a couple more hours and get a little bit sweeter, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat it right now for you guys. And the one right next to it is really cool. It's half red and like perfectly half black. That looks pretty cool. You can see the line perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this thing and try it. I love mulberries so much, they're so sweet. Mm. Could have definitely sat on the tree for a couple more hours, but I like that little bit of sour to it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys are planting lots of seeds and I hope you guys are eating organic.